my channel. This is part two of three unboxings. These videos may not all go out at the same time due to um, people in my life who may intrude on recording time. But this is Shepherd's Cottage. I'm not sure if this will focus fully. It's a landscape painting by Diamond Art Club. It is 73 by 55. It's some of the biggest that I have. But it's a Mandy Manzano, and I'm sorry, but you can't really fault Mandy and her colours. I did an Ever Moment and loved, loved, loved working on the Ever Moment. Um, I think it was in. I know the artist has done um, other, possibly Diamond Art Club stuff. So it's I think it's Ian begins with a V. I'll have to find out his name. It's one of those colourful night scenes. Um, with wet and so it's got colour reflections everywhere. Anyway, loved working with the colours. Um, so Mandy Mazzano is definitely the kind of work I like having. This is the second time I have seen a Diamond Art Club canvas. Yeah, it, the thrill still doesn't go away though. Um, Toolkit in the bag and the bag of drills and that's an empty box. Right, where to start? Um, the toolkit, I'm guessing, is just going to be the exact same as the one in part one. It's going to be the blue pen, the little clear tray, which I think is really cute. I haven't had... I'll, I do actually like getting trays that are different from what I've already got. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Three-placer in the end of the blue pen, blue squishy, some spare bags, and two hearts. them back in and I will do a separate video on what I do with all of these toys that we get so much of girls and guys. Alright, move that to one side. The drills, I will open up the canvas, take a look at that first and then I will do my own infantry on the drills and I'll show you a picture with them all placed. Let's take a look at the canvas. Excuse me. Right. I will keep these bags because I'll keep it to protect the canvas skin. Now, Rachel Ray actually has one of these. And right now I'm envious of her door that she uses as her table. There is 44 colours in this. You should see to the side. There is the little instruction how to visit our store to get your next masterpiece. Uh, now, 73 by 55, which is roughly the same size as my other painting that I just showed you. Maybe a bit more. Um, the flock back on the back of the Diamond Art Club canvas is just beautiful. The paste line again only just goes outside the, um, where the, the glue goes just outside where you paste. So again, um, it will keep it from needing washi tape. Um, I think I will have to do Danielle Jones's trick, um, Stitcherista, and put the um, opaque um, paper onto this. I, the clear cover does nothing for me. I, I think it tears too easily. It makes so much noise. And I'll use her trick that she showed recently on one of her videos, which I think I'll link um, on here just because it is such a neat trick that she does. She basically gets the roll of sticky contact that we normally get on our diamond paintings. She lays it down onto the top of the cover, onto this cover, and it might be a waste of the sticky bit, but if there was another use for it, that would be fantastic, but I don't see any way to preserve it. Um, she sticks it down on this, eventually peels it all off, and then she has the contact cover that will go down in blocks, and then it's methodically done um, and covers the um, 
whole painting and then I can section it off into my sections. So my sections would probably only be that little size, so it would probably be two inches by four inches and that's possibly, well it might be quicker with the round, there seems to be so many less diamond space than there is on my current one with the squares. Um, so I might be quicker, I might get a bigger section done in an hour or two hour block that I have available to me at any one go. Um, unfortunately, I'm a working mum and I'm busy, uh, like so many of us. So there's 44 colours that I have to go through, I have to find them. And um, yeah, I'll do that and um, get the video back open and um, show you what I've got when it's all been catalogued. So I'll see you soon. Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is my inventory complete. All 44 colours are here. The AB diamonds I've noticed are in the first couple of numbers. Um, the AB diamonds in this is only one colour. It's 141. I've got a 2 and I've got a 7. And again, you notice it because of the extra, extra shine which is gorgeous. So I'm hoping they're going to be accenting the sheep. Um, but all the colours are accounted for, which is fantastic. It gives me peace of mind. I'm going to have to work out with the quantity um, what the issues are and maybe do some more research on Diamond Art Club and how they do inventory. It could be a little bit like every moment, but there's no numbers as to quantity that I could see. And we basically have to go on trust. Uh, there was one little glitch with one of the bags. It's got a little bit of string in it. Um, so that's an interesting find. But other than that, I think the drills are pretty perfect. There was one stray drill, a little orange, a seven, 743. But the bags are not loose, broken, or anything that I could see. There was only the one drill that was a stray. And the drills themselves look great. They're not oily or anything else. Um, oh, one thing I will note. The um, Diamond Art Club use either a gold paint or a silver paint. Um, there are two bags here. 155 with a 4 and 155 with a 2. Um, 155 with a 2 on my left has gold paint. And 155 with a 4 has the silver. Um, so they've got... Um, the two different colours there are, I don't think there is any ink with the numbers in black which we get quite often uh, 783 in 4 and 783 in 5 again have the gold and the silver so you can see them against the different colours um, so pretty cool um, lots of different numbers I know one of the other YouTubers have explained what the different numbers are they go up in multitudes of 2 or 100 and then it jumps from 5 to 7, and 7 is like a 1,000. Um, but the 8 is possibly 1,500, maybe a bit less. And the three tens in the monster bag don't have any number on them. Um, they're just monsters. But they look like 2,000 because they look like two bags of 1,000 to me, um, having a, a rough guesstimate. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, the Shepherd's Cottage, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous canvas. The detail is absolutely pristine. I will take some photos. I'll add them to the video so that you can see them in close-up in their all their beauty. And um, you can see the symbols. I've never seen such clear symbols on any canvas that I have bought. Um, and I have checked. Uh, but these are just gorgeous. Um, again, round, I'm... Not I I can't say that I'm I've been a fan of round in the normal, um, but I am looking forward to doing this, and I've certainly wa enjoyed watching um, people like um, Mrs. Coffee uh, putting together her Mandy Manzano uh, Rio Siren of Rio or um, the the one with the car in the Mexican street scene. Um, I have enjoyed watching her put down her colours on some of her um, lives. So thanks for watching uh, part two and um, yeah this is the Shepherd's Cottage and the next video will have the Gator Swamp. Um, again I'm not quite sure how far apart these videos might be uploaded onto YouTube so there may be a bit of a delay given that I have little people about to invade my home and my quietness.
and it's been a week since I've seen one of them. But that's another story. So I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.